All right, emotions part two. So we were talking about how emotions are road signs indicating to us things we may need to adjust or alter or shift or change or continue and perpetuate. Now, if you are experiencing things like sadness or grief or regret, that is a road sign indicating to you that you are giving too much time and attention into the past. You are dwelling in the past. Your memory is to be used to identify patterns in the past, to utilize in the present, or to identify lessons that can be learned and utilized in the present. And if you are experiencing anxiety, fear, doubt, worry, that means that your attention is too much into the future, in your imagination. You're dwelling in the future. You know, the imagination and the future are supposed to be utilized for creating possibilities of what you do want to occur. You know what I mean? All of these emotions are indicating that you're playing the what if game backwards. You're playing the what if game of things that you don't want to happen. You're anxious because your attention is scattered into all of these different possibilities of what you don't want to happen. Fear is because you are imagining something that you do not want to happen. Doubt is because you are not believing in what you are capable of and you are imagining what you don't want to happen. You know, so use these emotions to indicate where your attention should be. Your attention should primarily be in the present moment. But utilize your memory to assess the past for, for purpose, you know, have a purposeful purpose for doing it and don't dwell there. Use your imagination to create the future that you do want, but don't dwell there. You know what I'm saying? Remain present. And use these emotions as road signs to indicate to you what you need to change and shift and adjust.